I'm more natural at it. You don't have to think while you do it. Um, I've been working on uh, just, just, I would call it recreational, recreational invention or engineering, or there's just a little drawing I did. But I've got a, uh, a little consumer home for the masses here where you can put your electric car in. Very efficient house. Um, it's pretty. It's, it's cute. Um, really digging the 77 tequila idea. It's, uh, let's see. That's her. Um, the top unscrews and turns into a, a salter for your shot glass. Comes with salt. So if you have a shot glass, you can just lick the, uh, the rim and then dip it in the salt and you're golden, you know? You, you take a fatty shot, it's going to be a sick brand. I think if you make it cheap, good tequila, it's novelty and it's also, you know, appealing. It's, it's original. I think that marketing is is all about branding and about making your brand stick out and I think it certainly would um that ooh, what was it called Hyperloop the Hyperloop is some tight new shit it is a new form of transportation it's like a it's like a bullet pod that has a, a big air intake on the front and it takes that air in through the front because that's where all your air is coming when you're driving going fast you get insane amounts of air hitting the front of your car because aerodynamics is such a big thing it filters all the air around it instead of taking the air and throwing it all around you if you suck it up that's how you make a hover car you take all that air that's hitting you take, make it into a turbine suck it all in and blow it out the bottom of you pressurize it obviously you just have a giant fan and it turns into little tiny holes this big forces it out way faster than it comes in you can do it you know if you take it out or take it in at one big turbine you can make 20 or 30 different outputs in the bottom that once they're if they're one twentieth of the size of your intake you can cut 20 holes at the bottom of your thing, you're going to get all those holes blowing out at damn near 800 miles an hour or however fast it's coming in. Because this Hyperloop that this guy created, same dude as who's invented Tesla Motors, the Hyperloop that he's created, this vehicle, is going to be theoretically powered by like magnets, like a bullet train. So it's like a bullet train in the sense that you can... Control its speed, dial it up, dial it down, turn the brakes on just by pretty much turning off the magnets, and at that point, air resistance is just going to kill you, and you'll come to a stop pretty fast. You can put the brakes on. Um, I'm pretty sure it's totally hovering. It's like a hover car, but I would assume you need a track for that if you're going to use magnets to power it. Uh, let's see how else you... Because magnets, you could put magnets in your vehicle, but it needs magnets under you. Ooh. It doesn't need magnets under you to levitate like a bullet train, but how is it propelling you forward if there's no magnets under you to fight against? It's just magnet, magnetic. I mean, you could point the magnetic field behind you, but well, that's not force. That's not going to push you. I don't know. It's all... It's all theoretical. Nothing's been built yet. It's all prototype. They, may, they might have made a prototype. I doubt it. I would assume it's all, all paper, pencil, and maybe some computer CAD shit. But we'll see because that's what I want to fucking do. And if I can get a job for Tesla Motors, I would be extremely happy. And I would take it the second that they offered it to me. I think that... If I spend the next three years 
working as hard as I possibly can to become the top engineer that, I mean, not not just grades, because grades only mean a little bit, and I, I know that those dudes know it. Um, it's more about what you can actually do. If I can solar car team, you know, get a, get a top spot of that by the time I'm a junior senior, some sort of managerial, some sort of being a boss of that, overseeing a big project like building a solar car, like SAE building that, that's better experience than you'll ever get in class for damn sure, but it's it's what they want because you can actually do things. They don't need to sit there and tell you exactly what to do and how to do it because they shouldn't have to do that. They're hiring you to be an independent person. I'm not just going to sit there and go, uh, yeah, yeah, here, you tell me this, I do that. I want to be like creative and inventive and doing my own shit and being like, yo, we should do this. Give them ideas. Tell them that this car needs to be cut down on this shit because it's excessive. It doesn't matter. We're wasteful. We can assemble it in a different way that makes it more like recyclable or reusable. What if you could bring your old car in? We just rip the body off it. The frame is good for fucking ever. We just rip the body off of it. Keep all the electronics. You can just make it so... You punch the pieces in so... Uh, like Legos, where it's the point that you can just... Boop, take this piece out, boop, throw a new body on. Throw a new transmission in, throw a new battery in. That's where it's going to get to be, where... You don't ever need to buy a new car. The frame... The frame that they make... The engine that they make... In 2014... Will... Last as a commuter vehicle... For... 30 years. So why... Why in five years would you need to buy a new car? You don't. At all. I'm sick of college. I don't want a real job as a real engineer where I can fucking... But I mean, I really don't want a job as an engineer because what I'm going to get is out of college is probably going to be... Sitting on CAD, making some stupid fucking component of a stupid piece of equipment that we do not need. But that's why I'm going to make the next three years of my life my goal to get a job at a badass company like Tesla. Like, that would totally make my life so much more meaningful and purposeful and enjoyable. So, fuck America. I'm trying to get out of America. Just for all of you out there that didn't know, my plan is to move to Australia at the moment, but, I mean, that's totally just me, you know, dreaming, making shit up. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but I'd fucking love to move to Australia. And I just want to live somewhere that's not, um, that's more off the grid. Somewhere where there's very little rules and somewhere where that's more relaxed. A lot more just laid back lifestyle. People that aren't American government. People that aren't just stupid and scared. Americans are scared and they follow the rules and they're very good at it. There are very few knowledgeable, free thinking, independent, interesting people in America. I'm one of them. 
and it feels damn good. That's why I'm gonna get the hell out of here and just start doing my own fucking thing. I mean, I've been doing my own fucking thing for a while, for a year, for one for one year. I moved, I moved into the Grove. I moved out of my house in Benton, North Iowa. 360 days ago. And now I'm here and I'm fucking killing it. I mean, you don't want to get your hands dirty, do you? Peace.